Saints Madden franchise season two off season. Ladies and gentlemen, last episode, we got beaten in the playoffs by the San Francisco 49ers. We second season as far as the schedule goes is over. And now it's time for the off season. We got to start figuring out the draft, start figuring out our roster and uh, get prepared for season three. So let's look at the retirements here. Uh, let's see if we Cam Jordan retires. So he, can't, he retired a Texan. We uh, offloaded Cam Jordan. So you know, tip of the cap to Cam. Uh, let's see if we had any any retirements. <clears throat> Russell Wilson retired, not not from us, but uh, can we go to our, my team? So it looks like the NFC South only retirees are Rodney Hudson and Levante David. Levante David, hell of a player, hell of a career. So <clears throat> we're not affected by that at all. Thank God. So let's see what's next here. Uh, we did the season recap. We did the retirement scout college players. Uh, I think we've been doing that auto auto scout, but who knows? Uh, let's see our scouts. Uh, can't do anything there, right? Region breakdown mock drafts. I guess we could look at a mock draft. So mock draft five. Where are we at here? We should be. Game just isn't loading. Is that what's happening? Mock draft three. And. Can we not? The, I'll, I'll tell you this right now, the like, the all, the screen, the menus, and all that stuff for this game are very difficult to to do. They're, they're not very good at they're not very good at showing like any of any of that uh, that kind of stuff. We need a here's the deal. We need a uh, defensive line is what we need in the draft. Uh, defensive line is what I'm really looking for. I would love a pass rusher, but we definitely need defensive linemen. Let's see, prospects, is this where I go? So let's take a look at some of the prospects here. So let's look at a lot. Let's look at end. So left end, we got Ricky Hayes, uh, Shaq McDonald. So all these guys are first round talents. So can I like scout one of these guys? Let's see, scouting report, physicals. I guess we can do this a little later on once the combine and all that stuff happens. Let's go to... <clears throat> yeah, the offseason is super confusing, the way that the menu and all that is. All right, upgrade players. Our pl our players are young. Like, our roster is young. I don't know who the hell these guys are. It's like practice players. But our roster is young. So as far as, like, developing and, you know, like players getting better year over year, we should take a huge step forward, I would think. Uh, manage staff, manage roster. I'm not sure what – so we're, we're in staff. We're in staff time. So I kind of manage my staff. Let's see. So Dennis Allen's still the head coach. I think I'm fine with him being the head coach. You know, he had a... Obviously, we went to the Super Bowl in the first year, and then last year, I think he figured things out. We got to the playoffs. I'm happy to see that. I'm um, cool with Nick Gregory. I think he did a good job. I think everyone did fine. I'm okay with everybody. I'm okay with them uh, existing. So I have, if, they, if they don't want to leave, I have no reason to, to move on from them. We're going to keep the staff as is, as far as I'm concerned. Now let's go to the re-sign players part. I want to keep the core kind of together. I think the team is good. Uh, I think we just need to add. I'm not really worried about removing. We did a lot of that last year. We got rid of some big contracts. So I'm not too concerned with like offloading players or old players or any of that stuff. So players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we got. Uh, Chris Olave. Okay, we'd like to accept his option. Jameson Williams. I would like to accept his option. We'll see if he decides to... You know, it doesn't look like he's very happy here. Nephi Sewell could care less. Igan Joby was pretty decent towards the end of the year, but, you know, we'll see what he's going to do. Dakota Ross, whatever. Turnage, whatever. Lewis Kidd, whatever. Anthony Barr. Barr was all right at times. He's getting a little older. Gilliam was really good. I would like to have him involved. And Lutz was really good. I'd like to have him involved. A lot of is the most important. Let's go to accept the option there. Yep. Uh, Williams will bring back. He's on a cheap deal. Okay, there you go. Just, let's go to... Gilliam. So Gilliam, let's see. They rejected our offer already. I don't know what he wants. Uh, he wants player motivations, historic championships, no income tax. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, crazy that's even in here. Head coach, historic record. Dennis Allen's at 47%. Doesn't really tell me much else as far as like what else he wants. I, I really want him still on the team. I, I think he's really good for us. Uh, I'm willing to offer him more money if he wants more cash. I'll give him, I'll give him two five over three years. I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. So I'm just kind of shooting in the in the dark here. 
I wish there was a way I could like see what he wants or any of that stuff, but let's just make the offer. This offer is perfect. All right, cool. Boom. Reggie Gillian, come on back. I thought he was great. We need a fullback and we, we need what he does. So let's see. Lutz, close to market value player may not accept. I feel like he would though. Like why would he not accept? He loves the team. Super Bowl chase where a playoff contender, close to home. Highest offer, values financial. So what if we go like one up? Just just throw him an extra 100K. There you go. All right, come on back, Lutz. Uh, who else are we looking at here? Dakota Ross is young. I guess he'd just be okay to have... I'm not going to like go out of my way, you know, to keep him. I'm okay with like a two-year deal. Okay. So I don't have to do this again, you know. We we have a lot of, we have more much more cap room to work with, which is good. Uh Agan Joby, Bar, I mean again, like Bar, do I really want Bar? Eh. I'm okay with bringing Agan Joby back. We'll just make him an offer here. I enjoy playing for you, but I think I'm going to test free agents. I mean, that's fine. I understand. No hard feelings. Everybody else can, is kind of whatever. I'm not going to tag them. That would be crazy. Uh, I mean, we can see what Nephi wants. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see what he does here. Next season will be great. All right, cool. Welcome back. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. So we're, I think we're in a good spot. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with letting these guys walk. So we get, we got what we had to do. Nothing crazy happened there. Mock draft three is available. So let's take a look at this. All right, so where even are we picking? So we're picking at 20. Uh, so who else is there? So we have a cornerback, could be there. Uh, Ryos, a linebacker, could be an option. Uh, I don't know, defensive tackle, Carl Carl Bigsby could be a thing. What's, do we even know anything about Carl Bigsby? Looks all right, 6'6", 317, get some, went to LSU. Great to elite, acceleration. Okay. Looks pretty good across the board. Dalton, Carl Bigsby could certainly be, be an option for us. No doubt about it. All right. Um, <clears throat> scout college players. Choose scouts, evaluate prospects, and set up your draft board. So if I go to prospects, and I go to the boy, Carl Bigsby, who's a defensive tackle, so how do I, I click A, just shows, just shows me the player. But if I click Y, he's a favorite now, I just add favorite. I guess I just hope my scouts do their job. I guess that's it. I guess I, it's just up to them. I can't like designate points or whatever. Maybe I'm auto doing it. Uh, manage staff, manage roster, manage team. That's all fine. We'll advance to stage one of free agency. So we'll take a look at the free agency. But we have some cash. Like I said, we have a little bit of money. So... We might be able to address our pass rush needs. Uh, see the combine results. I'm not sure what all we really need to look at here. But let's see. Greg Randolph, the boy. Uh, good, a lot of good linebackers out there. Glenn Franklin. Oh, Glenn Franklin. 5'9", 170. He better be so fast. He better be the 427. He's quick. He's not Dalton Drew quick, but he's quick. Uh, let's see if the boy's on there. Let's see, let's see what we can learn about uh, the one and only Carl Bigsby. I want to see his bench press numbers. I want them to be high. 32 reps? Eh. It's kind of okay. You want to see a little bit more than that. Yeah, good strength. Not not great strength by any means. What about the ends? Let's see what, what uh, <clears throat> left end is available. Ricky Hayes. So Ricky Hayes looks like a real stud. 6'3", 296. Shaq McDonald, 6'5", 289. Travis Forbes, 6'6", 300 pounds. Let's look at Ricky Hayes. What's Ricky got going on? Ricky, 33 reps. I like that. 4'9", 4. Okay. Uh, scouting report, physical player. Loves to utilize a spin as a counter move. Has a swift arm over move in his arsenal. Will utilize power and leverage. Best moves are D. He could be a thing. I mean, Ricky Hayes could certainly be a thing for us. No doubt about it. I'm looking at Ricky Hayes, for sure. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's look at free agency. So now we go to sign free agents. Okay. View the available free agents. See who's out there. Uh, Joel Pedono. Okay. No interest in us at all. I mean, he he hates us. But he borderline hates us. Uh, Mari Cooper. We don't need a wide receiver. Uh, I mean, we could certainly use Tyron Smith, but I'm okay with the guys we've got. Traverius Ward, 29 year old. Uh, he'd be interesting. We, him and Lattimore on the same team would be pretty wild. Right guard, Wyatt Taylor could be a good fit. Safety could be decent. No interest in Keenan Allen. No interest in DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, DJ Reader, okay. I mean, 31 years old. You know, bringing in a big time defensive tackle would be strong. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's some decent players out here, but I don't really know, like, if I'm so excited about any of them. Tevin Jenkins, like a 27-year-old, he he might fit what we need the most, a 27-year-old, 80 overall left guard, because our left guard right now is Will Bragg. So part of me kind of wants to know, like, what like what our players... Let's see if we can see who, like, our players have upgraded or anything. Because I have no idea what they look like. You know, like, I have no idea. Okay, so have they already developed? No. So, like, like Blumberg was a 77 last year. He's still a 77. Saldivari, you know, McCoy, like, no one's changed. Ruiz, Bragg, you know, Dalton Drew still in 82. So, I, I just want to know, like, the, you know, because, like, let's say, let's say Will Bragg. Let's say Will Bragg goes up to like a 77, 24 year old 77 playing left guard. I'd rather have that than an 80 overall 27 year old. You know, so, <clears throat> so I don't know if we need really, really need to do much with free agency, even though we do have a little bit of cash. Like having that, I mean, we do. I, I guess we do need another lockdown corner because we do constantly get burned. Like, what does he want? What would we even need for Traverius Ward? One year, seven million, that's it? What if we did two years? What if we did three years? Three years, keep him for a while? Total offer strength, seem to like it? Doesn't really hurt our cap that much? I mean, we offered, we'll see what he does. Um, who else were we looking at? DJ Reader. We'll chill on we'll chill on Reader for now. Who was the left guard we were looking at? He must be way down here. Oh, this this guy, Tevin Jenkins. He could be a little depth. You know. I guess we I guess we can't make the offer. We'd be below the cap. Let's just keep it like that. We have Trevor Traverius Ward. We'll see if he accepts. I mean, I mean, if he accepts, like all of a sudden you go Traverius Ward and Marshawn Lattimore and Alante Taylor as your top three corners, it's pretty strong. So let's see. If he accepts, we're just going to blast through free agency. He might be he might be thinking it over, mulling it over, talking to his financial advisors, if you will. All right, mock draft four. Now we're going to another mock draft. Mock drafts are flying. So Terrell Hughes is the first end off the board from Arkansas. What was his bench? 33 reps, 4-7, pretty strong. Man, he gained four reps from college pro day to the combine. So, I mean, that's a lot of creatine in his body. All right. Uh, man, Glenn Franklin all of a sudden is going sixth overall. See, so they still have us taking a cornerback. I don't think we really need a cornerback that bad. I guess we do. I mean, every single person all of a sudden thinks we need a cornerback. I'm the only person that thinks we're all right there. I guess I guess not. I guess we might need to think about getting one. All right. Um, <clears throat> so how do I check? College Pro Day, already saw that. Sign free agents. How do I check my boy? The Char Charvarius Ward. So does the check mark mean he's coming? Does the check mark mean he is... On the squad? Oh, is it? View player card. It's a check mark, so I guess he's I guess we're still waiting. Again, the menu could be better. I'll just say that. Madden's menu could be a little easier to deal with. I guess we advance. 
I'm just going to kind of advance until we get a notification that Traverius Ward's signing up. Which he has not done, so we'll just keep it keep going, I guess. I mean, I would assume it's going to say, like, Traverius Ward accepts your offer, or Traverius Ward turns down your offer, and then we can know what we're doing. It is nice to have a little money, though. You know, that's something we had to do last season. You know, last season we had to, uh, man, I just had something fly my eye. Uh, last season, like, we didn't have any cash. We couldn't really do anything. This season, we, we do have some some room to move. Adrian Bennett was our pick that time, but still a cornerback. So, I mean, people really have us, really have us right there at a cornerback. Jay Oliver, defensive tackle, could be interesting. What do you have? 30, 38 bench reps. Good God almighty. 38 reps at his pro day. 34 reps, so it got weaker. I got a lot of questions about that. A uh, physical player. How big is this guy? Uh, skills, awareness, sheddings, kind of whatever. Power moves, whatever. Hit power. Okay. Jay Oliver could be an option too. You know, I don't know. Shaq McDonald, Carl Bigsby, we've all seen them. Tyrone Stevens, kind of a smaller end. Okay. <clears throat> Still don't know if Shavarius Ward is is locked and loaded. A lot of questions. Advance the week. I think this is the recap now, huh? Uh, where are we at now? Scout. Oh, now we're in the draft. Okay, just like that, we're in the draft. Scout college players, manage staff, manage roster, manage team, start the NFL draft. We really screwed this up last time. I don't even know how many draft picks I have. Uh, so let's see, scout college players. Right, we've seen the mock drafts. We've done all that. So we kind of have to have a plan here. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at my team needs. Like, our weakest... Well, tight end is our weakest position. We don't really use the tight end. Left end, defensive tackle, left outside linebacker. Like, those are the positions we need. Those are the positions we need to make better. I'm looking at the roster. Go to depth chart. Like, if I look at my left outside linebacker, who's our... Who's our left outside linebacker? Malecki. But I think Malecki's good. Malecki's a 77. He's going into his second year. Who's our right? Pete Werner? Pete Werner's fine. And... Uh, Jawan Bentley's good. So, I mean, even that's kind of okay. Defensive tackle. Brzee is good. Roach is terrible. End. Foskey. Isn't awful. Foskey's not bad. 79 overall. Man, he was non-existent last year. Turner. Yeah, I mean, left end's bad. Right end's bad. Left end and right end. Well, right end's whatever. Left end, defensive tackle are an issue for sure. Right tackle, we have Kendrick coming off of a rookie year. Ruiz is right guard. Bragg was playing left. <clears throat> Tight end could certainly be better. Fullback. Gilliam's fine. Halfback, we're fine. Quarterback, we're fine. So, and then if we go, we got Howden at safety and May at safety. Yep, you got May. You got Howden. Cornerbacks, you got Lattimore, Taylor. Okay, so Ward is on the team, so I guess he is signed. So you got Lattimore, Ward, Taylor, Adiba. Like, we don't need a cornerback. I mean, our, our, our secondary is insane now. We have a 93 and a 90. All right, so we know what we need. We need defensive tackles, ends, fill out some more depth of linebacker, tight end maybe. Let's start the draft. Yeah, start the draft. Let's roll. I feel like we have a lot of picks too. View your draft board, skip ahead in the draft, manage roster. Let's see, news, league. Okay. My next pick is round one, pick 20. Skip ahead in the draft, advance to the next user pick. <clears throat> okay. Now I got to do this in two minutes. Okay, trade away pick. Can I see the offers? Review offer. I got to do this quick, I guess. Texans, 2026 first, second, third, second, third, third. That's not bad. First, second, fourth, first, second. I mean, these aren't awful. These, these, these are not bad to just trade down. The 2025 ones I'd be trading down. Look at that one. So much draft capital. Well, but we need we need youth and we need 
Okay, let me go back to my pick. Make your selection. We got a minute to do this, guys. I made that mistake last time. All right, so we got Dylan Graham, round one, Adrian Bennett. All right, Dylan Graham could be a thing. <clears throat> um, Jay Oliver's there. We like him. Let's take a look at Dylan Graham. Let's take a look. Okay, he's 6'6", 265. Big, big, big dude. Eh. Skills. Let's see. Finesse, hit power, blocking, man coverage. He, I mean, this is pretty good. Dylan Graham's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Dylan Graham's not bad. So we're looking at Dylan Graham. And then an end. So who else was? Jay Oliver. 6'2", 311. That's a... We gotta figure something out. All right, let's go. Let's go with. Uh, let's go the best on the board. Let's go Dylan Graham. Let's go Dylan Graham here, and then we may try and get the tackle in uh, the the second round. All right, let's draft him. Let's get him, Dylan Graham. There you go, stud finder. What does that mean? Draft a rookie with a hidden dev trait. Oh baby. Okay, stud finder. I mean, does anybody do it like me? Dylan Graham. All right. Welcome. Welcome, Dylan. All right. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Dylan Graham, come on down. Ugly, hideous looking individual. I'll say that. Hideous. All right. So we will definitely have to change his appearance because he's making me kind of sick to my stomach. All right. My next pick is round three. So I don't have a second round pick, so I have to wait all the way until round three for a pick. Yeah, that's fine. Skip ahead in the draft. Skip. Okay, well, hold on now. Skip ahead in the draft to my next user pick. Jay Oliver just went. Damn. All right, we got to remember to look at Jay Oliver's rating because we almost took him. All right, round three, pick 20. Can we trade away the pick? Uh, So we could trade down big time. Uh, Trade down, get a fifth. Trade down. I don't, like, I don't like these. All right. Uh, make your selection. Okay. Try to find a stud here. Joe Dawson, don't need him. Brandon Rice, don't need him. Josh Gatson, don't need him. Uh, Sam Wagner. What's Sammy got going on? How fast is he? 6'4", 242. 4'6" to four, five, six, vertical, three, four. Let's see, something in my eye. Awareness, break tackle, carrying, where's speed? Does it show speed anywhere? Deep route? Hmm. We, 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 uh, I mean, I feel like tight end would be a luxury pick. Gerard Hargrove. I mean, I gotta make something happen quick. It's crazy how fast this is. Cam Grimes. Uh, man, let's just take the tight end. Let's take Sam Wagner, just because I only have 15 seconds. It's crazy how fast it goes. Uh, oh, I gotta find him. Let's take Sam Wagner. Boom. Uh, 85 speed. This guy's pretty good. This guy's all right. 88 acceleration, 86 agility, 85 speed. This guy's okay. This guy's all right now. Uh, this guy's okay. I'm not. I'm not mad about this. Sam Wagner might be able to play. He might be able to play the game. Okay, I'm okay with that actually. Next pick is round four, pick seven. Let's skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. Right, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Make your selection. All right. Let's look at our defensive tackle. We need a defensive tackle. Dawson's still there. Agnew. George Meyer. I mean, these are a lot of wide receivers. A lot of wide receivers. J.J. Conway is the first defensive tackle. 6'2", 300 pounds. I like the girth. Um, skills, I'm not liking a lot of this. 28 reps, that is that is not strong enough for me, pal. Let's go sort to, to defensive tackle. J.J. Conway, 6'5", 400 pounds. This guy is absolutely massive. Wow, Alex Little is huge. 42 reps. He's the fastest man to ever live, or the strongest man to ever live. 42 reps of bench press. That might be a record. 6'5", 400 pounds. 
Wow. Has a motor off. I mean, let's get this guy. I can't, I can't ignore the, the strength. That strength is crazy. The size and the strength. I'm, I'm all for it. 22. Whatever. We'll see. 95 strength. Everything else is pretty poor. We just got to develop them. That's all. We just got to develop them. 95 strength. That translates, ladies and gentlemen. That translates. That translates. All right. Next pick. Boom. Round four. Pick 20. Okay. So we have a couple fourth round picks. Advance to next user pick. Oh, okay. Skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. All right. Make my selection. Let's go here. Let's try and be fast. They don't give me much. They don't give you much time. All right, it's gonna be a lot of the same five nine two hundred pounds. What a crazy body, crazy body type. Oh, what's this? What's the speed? Four four thirteen reps. Eh, eh. All right, we're trying to find value now. I, I do not need a wide receiver. Steve Ward five nine two oh nine. Same situation. Uh, let's see, he's four six four five fourteen. A lot of D's and C's. I'm trying to find, at this point, trying to find A's, B's, and C's, right? Uh, quarterback, don't need that. Halfbacks, don't need that. JJ Conway. Brenton Quincy. Let's take, let's take a look at what he's got, got going on. Pretty strong. He's decent. This guy's decent. TBH. I think right now we're looking at Brenton Quincy. Utilize power and level motor. Often looks rough the ball. Shows good discipline. I mean, right? I mean, keep block shedding is pretty rough. Man, I'm too. I get too caught up in this. Oh man. All right, let's see. Brenton Quincy, Todd Ross, Antoine Fisher might have to be him. Just straight up time. We're gonna go with him. I mean, that's not bad though. Look at that down below. We've got 87 strength, 82 speed, 78 jumping, 80, 79 acceleration. He's an end. Okay. I don't hate that either. For how fast we had to do that. The speed is insane in the draft. I mean, you can't really look around. You got to know what's going on. So now we pick seven picks later. Oh, Britton Quincy just went. We were looking at him. Damn it. So we had three fourth round picks. I right, make my selection. All right. Uh, I right, Gatson. Who else were we looking at? Uh, I did want to look at the tight end from Notre Dame. He must have went. The vertical threat, Joaquin Torres. This guy's this guy's a big boy. Tyler Pemberton, big big tie, left tackle, six seven. Uh, C pass block, A to C pass block finesse. Thirty reps, kind of whatever. I don't, know if, I don't know if the strength's there. I don't know if I can trust a tackle with strength like that. Just that weak. Let's see. Uh, all right. Paul Fuller. Scheme fit. 6'2", 296. Let's take a look. Mm, how strong is he? 34 reps is all right. Good acceleration. Solid, 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 solid. Good. Skills, Bs. I mean, it looks okay. B tackle. All right, Paul Fuller could be a thing here. All right, Paul Fuller, a defensive tackle, could absolutely be a thing. Let's look at left end real fast. Chris Duncan, Stephen Carr. I mean, we really can't look at anybody. This is crazy. All right, uh, do we go with... Okay, I mean, we got to go with Carr. I don't have a choice. I got to go with him. Got to go with him. Go with him. Go. Oh, God. No, no, I didn't. I picked him. I picked him. 85 strength. Some of those numbers look okay. Change of direction is horrible if that's a 60. This is ridiculous how fast you got to go. This is making me kind of sick, to be honest. All right, skip ahead. So now I have round five, pick 20. View my draft board. What does this mean? Yeah, but what, what, what the hell do they know? Oh, so I guess I can look at this before my pick and kind of plan things out. Maybe I should do that. Let's take a look at some of these left ends. All right, so Jonathan Snee, let's take a look at this young man. 4'8", eh, 28 reps is Dece. 
pursuit. Uh, I don't like D finesse moves and D block shedding. That doesn't look great. Okay, we can do it this way. Five, this guy's slow. B block shedding. Mm, D finesse moves still. All right, so Jonathan Steen, we already looked at him. Matthew Smith, 66319 is strong. Um, man, he's really strong. He's very slow. Five nine five one nine. And this right here, you're talking about like a C power moves, B to D finesse moves. All right, Steve McKill. Okay, thirty one reps, a little under five. A to C block shedding, B recognition, C power moves, F finesse moves. Can't be doing that. Uh, 18 reps. God, that's bad. I'm not interested in that guy. 66280. Bernard Williams could be could be the dude. 20 Okay, I mean he's kind of he's kind of decent there. I like what Bernard Williams has going on. I like what Bernard Williams has going on here. I right, remember remember Bernard Williams. Remember Bernard Williams. We got eh, this guy's too weak. Jeff Brink. Slow. Dion Griffin, 6'3", 309. Eh, kind of slow and kind of weak. All right, so what did I say? Bernard Griffin or something like that is who we're looking at? Now we're getting into the Fs and all that. So let's let's move off of left end. All right, now let's take, take a look at defensive tackle again. All right, so J.J. Conway's been there for a little while. 6'2", 300 pounds. Hmm... F power moves, F play recognition. Don't like any of that. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. C finesse moves, C power moves, B to D block shedding, B awareness, B tackle. Paul Fuller could be a thing. I feel like I should be writing this down. This guy's strong. This guy's strong. Javier Cobb. C power, C finesse, A to C awareness, C tackle. Okay. Cobb could be a thing. This guy is very strong. Mm, F play recognition, though. B finesse. Eh, this guy's kind of whatever. Stephen Brown. Eh. Okay, this guy's strong. Randy Allen. Sees across the board. Randy Allen sees a kind of a safe pick. Could be a thing. I really should be writing this down. I mean, I'm, I'm the more I'm looking at these players, the more I'm like, how the hell am I going to remember this? All right, let's just go to let's go to left tackle here. Anything? So we looked at Pemberton, six six three eleven from Stephen Dillard, undrafted free agent. There. Sammy McIntosh, six four three ten. That's kind of it's kind of small, kind of weak. I'm off this guy. Our right, left guard is something we need, right? Nothing good there. Much of much of scheme fits, but undrafted free agents. Yeah, not much on the offensive line, man. Not much at all. Like Mar Marion Poe, 6'4", 333. He's a scheme fit. Physicals, decent. Skills. Impact blocking is an A. Run block, run block power A to C. Pass block B to D. Run block D, pass block... I mean, I mean Marion Poe could be a late, you know, like a last pick. Uh, I mean, pass that to Sean Barden, day three. Let's see what's he got going on here. How fast is he? I just, I just want to speed with these tight ends. Four nine, eh. Four seven, okay. Hold on, Nick Ramsey, four eight, Jerry Bryant, eh. These guys are whatever. Five. five. I mean, we might we might have got the best tight end. Uh, this guy this guy's pretty quick. Just catching B to D. All right, let's go to our next pick. Let's go to our next pick here. We did a, we did a little bit of looking though. We slowed things down, which is good. Uh, skip ahead in the draft to next user pick. All right, uh, make my selection. So now now I don't even really know what to do. Let's go to left end. See, Chris Dunk. Now I don't remember any of these guys. Who who are we looking at? Bernard Williams. But he's potentially undrafted. 
Bernard Williams is good, but he's a you know supposed to be undrafted guy. So should we be taking Jonathan Sneed? Jonathan Sneed, D blockchain, D finesse. Why the hell is this guy a third round pick? This guy's ass. He's got he's got nothing. D finesse, D shedding, F hit power. Who else were we looking at? We already took right ends. Defensive tackles, Conway, Fuller, Cobb. Man, I forgot who we were looking at. Randy Allen. Were we looking at Allen? I really should have wrote this down. Yeah, I think Randy was just kind of a safe pick. Let's take Randy Allen. I think he was a relatively safe pick. He's a scheme fit. All right, let's take Randy. 93 strength. 79 acceleration. Okay. All right. Very fil very ugly face. No offense, but very ugly face. Okay. Next pick is round six, pick 20. So now this is where we start taking some of those guys that might be undrafted free agents, but we saw something in them. Pick player. Man, Joe Dawson has been there forever. We almost have, We almost just have to take him. I mean, Joe Dawson, like, guys. 4-5. He's got F catching. I mean, I don't need this guy. F catching traffic, D catching, D deep route. Why, why, why do they want me to take this guy? He's a loser. I mean, Steve Ward, what's he got going on? 4-5. Decent. I mean, just just decent. Is that what we really want? We just want decent players. You kidding me? All right. Matthew Stiff, Stephen. I mean, Bernard Williams is who we were looking at, right? We like we liked what we saw from Bernard. Bernard was just decent across the board. Is Bernard Williams the one we liked? I, th I think so. Not sure exactly why, but. Uh, well, let's just take him. Okay. 77 speed, 81 strength. All right. Let's take a look at uh, Marion Poe next. If we have a pick. Let me know if we have a pick. Yep, next pick is in uh, one pick. Skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick. Take my select. We have a, we have a ton of <laughs> ton of picks. I mean, we have drafted so many players. Where's the boy Marion Poe? Was he a right guard? Did he already get taken? Someone took the boy? Someone took Sweet Marion? Oh, hate to hear it. Hate to hear that. Oh, man. Absolutely hate to hear that. All right. Um, yeah, left guard, C. Left end, D. Defensive tackle. Let's take another look around. We got J.J. Conway still hanging out. I don't hate what Javier Cobb's got going on. <clears throat> Thirty-five. I mean, he's all right. I mean, all right. I just the the. I mean, C power move, C finesse move, tackle C. Just kind of an average player, I guess. Maybe maybe we can make something out of him. I mean, let's see. Ninety strength. I like eighty. I mean, eh, eighty-two acceleration. He might be able to figure it out. You skip ahead in the draft. We had no more draft picks remaining. Let's go ahead and enter the draft. See what our, see what this looks like. I'm ready to see my roster. We I feel I feel like we drafted 40 players. I feel like we have 40 players out there. Draft recap. Your 2025 rookies have signed contracts for the season. Damn, that was quick. Everyone signed. Oh, we can see the overall rating. Uh, Dylan Graham, 73 overall. Uh, Alex Little. Let's see if we can see like the entire draft. Can we see all the draft picks? That'd be sweet. Let's look at all of them. So, the best... Oh, this is cool. So, the best player was David Correa. Uh, Carmen, Absolute Steel, Anton Boss, Brackett, Robertson. Okay, we never looked at the halfbacks. Frank Thompson, he's a steal. We never looked at him, though. Oh, Carl Bigsby. We looked at Carl Bigsby. He's a 76. Damn. 
But, I mean, you know. Um, Jameel Younger. Second round pick. DJ Vaunt. Anybody else that we looked at? I remember George Cassis being out there. D'Angelo Clements was a good pick. Mm. Chet Wilson never looked at him. Couple absolute busts. I mean, look at this. Terrell Hughes, fourth overall pick, 73. Oofa. Oofa. Mm. Dylan Graham, the boy, 73 overall. Bit of a bust. Sidney Townsend, steal. Fourth rounder, 73 overall. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, man. The draft is tough. There's got to be something to it. There's got to be There's got to be a way. To, Shaq McDonald saw him a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's tough. Jay Oliver, remember, he was the guy we looked at. 72 overall, defensive tackle, decent. Bernard Williams, worst player in the draft, was the guy we took. Well, he was supposed to be an undrafted free agent, so that makes sense. But uh, we took him, saw a lot in him. Turns out, not great. So uh, that that that's a wasted pick right there. That is a wasted pick. Well, I mean, like like we're you know I'm happy with Graham, but look at look at this though, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we were we were doing we were doing business here, defensive tackle. You know, these guys here, we get a couple 69s. You know, am I, am, I, am I really that proud of this? Probably not. You know what I mean? Probably not. If you, look, if you really look at the grand scheme of things. Round three, look at that. Look at all the 76s and 77s. Damn. I mean, you can still find them in round four. Damon Mabin, 74 overall. Yeah, I hate, hate to see that hate to see that there are still 73s available in round five and we're taking 60 overalls so we, we we need to revamp how we are doing the draft no doubt about it we've got to revamp I mean, we got to revamp the, we got to revamp how we're looking at the draft either trade the draft picks away or, or, or something we got to totally revamp that completely revamp it all right, uh, draft recap. Not worried about that. Adjust roster, change player positions as desired. God, I don't want to do that. I don't want to change people's positions. All right, uh, I guess we advance. I guess we advance the week. Advance the week, I guess. Hmm. Training camp. Play mini games to improve your players before the start of the season. All right. Uh, manage staff, manage roster. Is this? Can we see like some development? Can I see new new ratings? Don't players get better or worse? All right. Fields is a eighty. All right. Camaras is eighty three. I'm trying to see. Like, Dalton Drew is an eighty. Dalton Drew is an eighty two last year. He got worse. What the hell? How does he get worse? Uh, Blumberg still 77, Bragg 73, McCoy 82. And there's, there's, am I missing something here? <laughs> like, where is the, where is any development? I figured the players would jump up. Like, if y'all ever played, if y'all have ever played, uh, like Heflin, Turner. Saunders, Little, Allen. If y'all ever play like like 2K, NBA 2K, if you play NBA 2K, you will have like a big jump. Like your players will have like a huge jump in a, in a season. And I guess that's not the case with this. I mean, we have demons of tackles all over the shop and none of them are good. I mean, Jack Heflin, GTFO, brother. Let's see, we got Malecki, the boy. All right, so we got to reorder all this. Get uh, Dylan Graham up there. Dylan Graham's pretty decent, to be honest. We got a middle linebacker. All right, right outside linebacker, Werner. 
No depth around us at linebacker. Cornerbacks, Traverius Ward. Why is he our fourth cornerback? Like, how does that make any sense? Delonte Taylor, why is he not even on the field? What's going on? Okay, so then we go Amadi there. So, I mean, we go Lattimore, Ward, Taylor, Adebo, pretty strong. Uh, Howden and May. Big Daddy Lutz, Gillikin. Uh, Dalton Drew, absolutely, he's going to be our kick returner. Yeah, Drew and, and, and Jamison Williams, pretty strong there. But, like, if you play NBA 2K, you have, like, a ton of... You have a ton of development. Like, like from one year to the next, for example, a 77 rookie left tackle from... One year to the second year in NBA 2K, but he'd be like an 81. He'd be like an 80. You would see the development. But to have no development up until this point is really kind of throwing me off. All right, let's do a training camp. Who should we make better? Um, okay, let's see. They, they give us, they tell us. Uh, chase and tackle. Trench battle. A lot of blockers between you and the quarterback. Don't let that stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Uh, should I do this? Rushing attack. Let's do the trench battle. Let's do trench battle. Let's do it with Corey Malecki, Brian Brzee, Dylan Graham. He's got a hidden dev trait. Should we do it with our boy? Uh, let's do it with Dylan Graham. Let's do it. Let's do it with our boy, the rookie, the rookie linebacker. He's got a hidden dev trait, so let's try and unlock it. Beat blockers to reach the quarterback. Okay. All right. Let's let's rock and roll. Let's go. See ya. Okay, I'm I'm getting absolute. Okay, brother, what what the hell just happened? Rush. See ya. Get get stuffed. Yep. Next. Next. Yep. No, no. There you go. There you go. Get around him. Get around him, son. Bam! What the hell is going on here? Come on. Get get around him. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Dylan. There you go. Go, go. Look at Dylan go now. Now now he's now he's locked in. Look at him. Oh my god. It's put, I'm playing fall guys. Get stuffed. Good stuff, Dylan. Good job. Good job, Dylan. Very proud of you there. I'm not sure what the hell was going on. I don't know what was going on there. Solid effort. All right. We've already done that one. Uh, what are we thinking? Chase and tackle. Stop the offense from running the ball in a midi game. Okay. Let's do... Uh, I guess we can't do the same guy. So let's do Malecki. Let's do Big Corey. Well, Corey Malecki here. All right. Uh, okay, I should go do this. Get some. Oh, Malecki. Come on, man. Make the tackle. Not a good first start. Get through. There you go, Corey. Set him down. Good job. Get some. Corey, brother. Oh, almost a shoestring. Corey. Oh, what a player. What a player. Okay, stretch. Yep. Good job, Corey. Malecki's playing. Malecki's playing. Oh, got, got beat to the outside. Oh, Sue string tackle. Here we go. Corey is a warrior. Oh. I mean that it's so hard. It's so hard to line these guys up. I mean, Alvin Kamara, his his juke is insane. Malecki speed. Ugh. Alvin is insane. I mean, how am I supposed to... I mean, if Alvin... If he cuts in between those linemen, how am I supposed to get there? Oh, Malecki blew him up there. Oh, get there, Malecki. Get there. Oh, Malecki. Oh, no. Malecki, you can't get stiff-armed. That's the last thing that can happen is, is getting absolutely... There. Oh, like right there. What am I supposed to do? 
That jump cut is insane. That jump cut to the inside was crazy. I was in the hole. I mean, Jesus. Alvin Kamara is Walter Payton in this drill. No medal earned. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. That was crazy. That was absolutely nuts. I mean, I'm not sure what they wanted me to do, to be honest. That was very hard. Um, let's take a look at... Hmm. How about target passing with fields? Yeah, let's do some target passing with fields. Here we go. Position your quarterback and time your passes to destroy as many targets as possible. Okay, okay. This is this is this is kind of crazy. All right. Uh, so what do I gotta do? Look at A. Uh. Thought I would hit that. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out here. Let's do B. I'm trying to like figure out how I can break those things. I know that's what you're supposed to do. All right, we're gonna look for Foster Moreau. He should be able to break this thing. Let's see if we can do it. Right, man. I mean, that's not even close. All right, I got, I got to figure this out. All right, we're gonna do Foster Moreau again. Right in his break. Bam! There you go. All right, we did it. We did it. Here we go. All right, so now we're gonna look for Alave. Alave on his break could break like all, every one of these. Broke two. There you go. All right. Here we go. So broke two of them at once. A lot. Uh, let's try and break the one with Dalton Drew in the middle of the field right here. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. Here we go. All right. Let's do the. Let's do the Alave one down the field. Oh. That's tough, man. I mean, I guess I gotta like do the. I guess I gotta do the direct throw. Let's do like. Let's try and do the direct throw with Alave. Bop. There you go. There you go. No medal earned. Okay, that was, that was a hard one. Those, these are hard. These are hard. I mean, for sure. All right, let's get out of these. Didn't hit the mark. Whatever. Uh, all right, what's next? Training camp practice available. Training complete. Uh, I'm not doing that. Certainly not doing a practice. Manage staff, manage roster, manage team, play preseason game, advance the week. Uh, I guess let's advance the week. Send to the regular season. Yeah. Let her rip. We're going to week. We're going to season three, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to season three. Get a right or get left. Just like that. I mean, I'm, I'm upgrade players. Choose draft class. Let's do choose draft class. Uh, auto generator rookies to download for Madden share ruined everything. Okay. Cool. Upgrade players. All right. I like to see that. Dalton Drew with the upgrade. All right, upgrade them. Yep. Hmm. All right, manage staff, manage roster, manage team, play season game. Let's see. Franchise staff, team. Okay. Hire and assign scouts. Right, let's check out the scouts. Scouts here. Isaac Allison. All right, works for me. Position expertise one quarterback, Ricardo Marsh. So let's look at the roster again. Improve team. What does that, what does that mean? You have some weak spots on your roster. You, we should look to improve the free agent pickups or trades. Why would I want Sam Hartman? How is Sam Hartman the first person they throw at me? Trey Lance? I mean, they really think I need to upgrade quarterback. But I'm not sure why. I mean, Fields is sweet. Maybe it just starts there. Uh, 
uh, tight end. I mean, this is a real weird interface. Yeah, I don't think trading for 29 overall, or 29 age 73 overall Andre Dillard is going to upgrade from my 77 23 year old. It made any sense. I really dislike the I, I really dislike the fact that like I don't like that there's no development. I don't like that okay, now Fields is upgraded one. Drew is upgraded one. All right, Blumberg stayed the same. Bragg stayed the same. Like, I don't I don't like that. There, there should be more development. Kendrick, like these guys, these guys are were played a full season as a rookie. How is there no development? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe they developed during the season. I don't know, but I mean, like Dalton Drew had some crazy development. He he was like a 67 overall, and he's now an 80 or whatever. So I guess you have to. Is it performance based during the season? Like somebody, let me know. How how exactly that works? Because you know, I feel like if you play, like Malecki was a rookie 77 overall, I believe. He played the entire season. So why does he just stay a 77? I don't know. I don't have the answer there. Because I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking our team would be much further along because of how young we were last season. We were so young in every facet. I mean, again, now I got to do the kick returner thing again. Why do they, they hate putting Dalton Drew as the kick returner. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to do some looking into how the development and all that stuff works. Because I thought we'd be much higher rated this season, and we're virtually the same rating. Our defense gained two points because we got Traverius Ward, but everything else stayed the same. We were 81 overall last year, 81 offense. So I'm surprised that, you know, that's that's how it's played out. What's our schedule look like? So we go at Philly, then we play the Jets at home, at Atlanta, at the Bills, Titans at home, bye week, 49ers again, at the Panthers, Vikings, Falcons, Cardinals, Bucks, Patriots. I right, guess kind of easier towards the end. We start tough though. Eagles, Jets, assuming Aaron Rodgers is not there. Eagles, Falcons are tough, Bills are tough. I'm sure Josh Allen's still there. 49ers are tough. Panthers were good last year. And then it kind of opens up. Cardinals are bad. Patriots are bad. Hmm. Tough schedule, though. All right. That's the offseason. Off season's, off season's interesting. It's always interesting. Like I said, I think the... I think the interface could be a little better. Just the Madden interface and how they do, like like I said, development and just some, some things like that. But let me know what you thought about the offseason. Uh, went and got Chavarius Ward, took a ton of draft picks, and I don't know if they work, will work out. I uh, can't really look at just the rating. Remember last year, we didn't think Dalton Drew would work out, and he broke the single-season record. Uh, so in the next episode, we will start Season 3. Season 3 of our Madden franchise, our Saints Madden franchise. Uh, hopefully Justin Fields stays healthy. could be a big year for him. Kamara towards the end of his career. This was probably the last season at the peak of his powers. I say that, but he had 20 touchdowns last season. So Kendra Miller might get a little more, more touches this year. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what Dalton Drew can do in his second season. Decent wide receiver room with Alave, Drew, Williams. Uh, let's get, we got Sam Wagner. New tight end. What's his catch? 72. Maybe Sam Wagner and Foster Moreau get a little involved. Who knows? But uh, exciting to start season three. We were ten and seven last year, so we'll see if we can improve on that. See if we can win the division and uh, make a run in the playoffs. That's the goal. View goals, season goals. How do I set my season goal? Why can't I set my season goal? Manage team. T 
team success. Historic, recent. Hmm. Okay. Can't do anything there. Uh. Hmm. Manage roster. Manage staff, team staff, subs, team schemes, franchise staff. Goals. Is this where I set them? Okay. Weekly game plan, head coach. Oh, this just shows the goals. I didn't show where I can choose my season goals. All right, a lot of questions. Maybe I have to do that in the preseason. I don't know. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the off season. If you're excited about season three, what you think my record will be in season three. Can we win the division uh, for the first time in all Madden? And let me know what you thought about, uh, or what you think about the franchise. You know what I was saying about the player development and all of that, or am I missing something? Is there a, is there a way to get your players to develop faster and is it is it different in Madden? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we will start season three of the New Orleans Saints Madden franchise. Peace.